Hi, my name is Tamara Bonvillain. Uh, I just wanted to record a hopefully <laughs> quick video. A friend had asked me about about cleaning up some pencils, and I'm not very good at explaining this in writing, so I thought it was probably best for me to do this in a video. So yes. So I've got here two versions of a file uh, that I just colored recently. Um, this art is by Stephen Cummings. This is for a Knights at the Dinner Table cover for a comic. Uh, so yeah, on the left here is the cleaned up version that I did and darkened in the line art. And here on the right is the original line art. And obviously you can see that the left one is darker compared to the right. So let me zoom in a little bit. And you can see just more of the details. I'm not sure how good the quality is on this video. Also my cursor in this, um, in this video capture software for some reason only shows up as an arrow. It doesn't show up as the actual like cursors that are in Photoshop. So. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Anyway, oops, wrong key. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, you can see these areas are much darker. And if I can zoom in a little bit more, <coughs> you can see, maybe you can see these areas which are kind of cloudy and aren't like pure white either, uh, the paper versus the version on the left. And I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you the way that I clean things up, and I'll take a look at the finished one very quickly. If you see here, I have a bunch of levels layers in the layers palette here, uh, and that's how I go about doing it. So, I mean, I'm going to show you step by step. This is just kind of an overview. Uh, so I'm going to start and minimize this. Okay. All right. So this method that I'm going to show you works pr works well. <coughs> sorry, uh, works well with kind of relatively clean line art, like like here. If you have lots of smudges and and gradation, uh, like if you're, if it's more sketchy, it may not work as well. Um, like if it's ready for inks. It's probably okay. Uh, anyway, so uh, the first thing you're going to do is going to make a level layer. Let me back up the view here. Okay, so I have a level layer on top. I made an adjustment layer <coughs> at the bottom, the little half white, half black, half black <laughs> circle and go to levels. Depending on your version of Photoshop, it may pop up a different window than the one here, but it works the same. So what you're going to do is drag the center, the gray part, and drag it all the way over here. And this is not a layer that we're going to keep in the final. This is just kind of like a preview. And what this does is it shows let me show you. Let me do another levels layer underneath real quick. So anything that's white, when this top layer is turned on, is like actually pure white. So if we turn this other middle levels layer off, see there's like really very s minimal like pure white, like a few pixels scattered around, but even the white areas of the paper have like a slight gray tint to it. So when I do this, it shows me. And this is the way that I see if I'm getting it light enough. And if you see this area, most of it <laughs> is almost black, or it is black. Uh, so those are like closer to a middle gray. Well, not a middle gray, but anyway, they're darker. <laughs> and we're going to lighten it up. And hopefully this will become clearer as we move along what's happening. Okay, so we don't need that one. That's too much. 
Okay, so with the top layer still on, we're going to make a second levels layer. Go ahead and put this in a group. Just hit Control G. And so I'm now going to pull again from the white. And about there is probably good. I'm trying to do the first uh, levels there just to kind of do an overall lightening of the image. Uh, what we want to be careful of is these areas here, like where the line art is starting to be surrounded by white. If I go too far, you see we start losing detail and we start losing the line art. Okay. So about here is good. As soon as you hit hit that happening in any of the line art, you want to kind of stop. Because like I said, you're going to start losing detail. Um, let's go here. So that's for that one, and we're done. So I'm going to make another one. And we're going to do kind of the same thing. And now we're looking at this kind of like next like whatever's like the next lightest areas, which is kind of like here and here in the faces and on the side and down here. We want to get it to be similar to this, you know, where we have it surrounded by white, but not too much. So let's pull again. And like I said, we want to keep like 247 is pretty good. You usually don't want to go too much lower than that because uh, it'll start taking away too much. Um, now, it's starting to look better in these areas uh, that I was just referring to, but we don't want to overdo this. We don't want to like make it look overexposed. Or st as we start stacking these levels layers, we don't want to lose more and more detail. So what we're going to do is start using the uh, the mask here, and all that does is like if anything is black in the mask, and I'm going to fill it with black right now it does not show up in that area. And anything that's white, I'm going to switch the brush. We basically start drawing it in. Okay? So we're going to just hit these darker areas. We're going to avoid anything like this that's already where it needs to be. And we're just going to hit these darker areas. Some of this stuff, the little noise and stuff in the background, we'll get later. I don't have to worry about it too much now. But anything, anything like that. Okay. You know, the, the line art is starting to become more clear underneath. It's not just like this giant black blob anymore. Uh, I'll do a couple of these and then I'll just skip ahead to the final because this one actually took like quite a few levels layers to really get it where I want it to be. Okay. So like I said, it's just basically repeating that process over and over again. Let me do one more. Okay. Let's see. So now we're looking like around up in here, in here, in here. Okay. That's good. I'm going to fill black again into the mask. So it basically turns everything off. And see some of these areas where it still is kind of like darker around it. We can kind of brush that in. Just be careful not to overdo it. You may occasionally want to turn this top layer off to check in. And then I turn this gr whole group on and off. And so it's kind of brightening it up right now. But we're not, we don't seem to be losing any detail. So that's good. That's where we want to be. And the cleaner the line art, the easier that process is anyway. So 
this is very <laughs> clean artwork of his. Um, so it's pretty easy. If you have something, like I said, with a lot more smudges, or if you have a lot of like gray tones in there, it may be more difficult. But really tight pencils that are handled cleanly should be shouldn't really be a problem. We can actually almost get them to the like quality of inks, but not quite. I don't like inks, just probably should ink it. Let's see. So yeah, this is gonna be the last one of these that I do right now because you don't need to see me do this like twenty times. Sorry about that. It's taking a while. Okay, I'm doing this kind of quickly too. <laughs> Believe it or not. Okay. So like I said, I would go in and probably hit more areas even still, but you can see probably how that's lightening things up. And if we turn this back on, see how this background is now white? Whereas before, everything was kind of grayed out. So nothing was really pure white except for like a little tiny specks. Um, now most things are, we're pretty good. And when you're done with all that, and like I said, I would do more, <laughs> but just for the purposes of this video, that's good enough. Once you're done, um, I would go ahead and make one final levels layer, and we're going to darken things up. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So first I kind of pull the blacks up a little bit. And on pencil, since we don't have anything super dark, uh, it didn't make drastic changes. What we're going to do is pull from the middle here too and start darkening that. Okay, and we can turn the changes on and off again to see what we've done. You can see it's already starting to become a lot clearer and crisper. And then, much like we did with the white, you can do the same thing here. Um, see these areas that aren't really filled in very darkly? You can pull up, like say from the middle here, it starts getting closer to black. We want to be careful, because that's going to start bringing back in some of these details we tried to eliminate. Or not details, but the, the gray. Um, so again, we want to do this selectively, like fill it with black, turn everything off, and then we can come in here and hit just these areas that we want to darken. So like these areas of, like these filled in blacks here, you know, and other areas. And also if there's any areas where the line art itself is kind of light, we could come fill that, mm, excuse me, fill that in. Uh, and like I said, the reason I would go further on those other lightning layers is if you really zoom in, you can see these other kind of like ghosted areas around the line art. And if I pull up the one I actually did the finish on, there's probably a little bit of that still in there, but it's much better, you see. Like I said, here I did a lot more level layers, <laughs> so you just have to keep stacking them and stacking them until you get to a point where you're satisfied minimize that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's really just that simple. The one other thing you may want to do is see all these little specks and stuff in the background. Just, I mean, you can just, what am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> just uh, make a new layer, fill it with white, and see this little icon here, the little rectangle with a circle in it. It's going to add a layer mask, and let's go ahead and fill that in black. So we're doing the same thing like we did the levels layer. Um, you can use a hard brush. I don't want like an airbrushy thing going on. And you turn this on, it probably makes them easier to see, that top layer again. And then just go in and you can use a lasso or whatever. I usually like to use a brush 
for larger areas, you know, lasso may be better. And just fill that shit in. You know? And just do that. And if you want to get super anal about it, you know, you can zoom in and, oops, zoom in and hit all these areas too. All right, but yeah, just once you're done, just layer. Ooh, oh god, <laughs> computer's lagging. Sorry. Go ahead and flatten it. And once you've flattened everything, then it's ready to start coloring. Uh, so yeah, that's my method for cleaning line art. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll try to clarify. Uh, thanks for watching.